This seems like as good a time as any to show you the fade and crossfade options in Pro Tools. So let's go to Setup, and down at the bottom is Preferences, and we'll scroll over to the Editing tab. And on the right hand side here, there are some settings for fades and crossfades. So the first thing we'll look at is this box Preserve Fades When Editing. Well, it's probably just easier to show you this. So I'll say OK, and let me just make an edit here. And then I'll create a fade in using my smart tool. And if there's a fade in the piece that I'm editing, like so, and I chop this out, it will preserve that fade. So let's go back here to Preferences and uncheck the box. And we'll undo that. And then if I delete this piece, the fade is not preserved anymore. So that's all that box really does. Okay, so, so far the fades we've been doing have been linear fades. So let's go back to Preferences, Set Up, Preferences. And if I change Fade Out to something that's not so linear, I can just grab this line and push it. I can do that shape of a fade or this shape of a fade. So I can have the type of fade that I want. I have an S curve that I can change so that it sort of starts fading, stays for a while, and then fades some more. Or I have a whole bunch of shapes down here that I can pick from. So the default is linear. And let's skip over this for now and take a look at crossfades. So I'll pull that guy up. So we're now looking at options for what happens when we use the crossfade tool, you know, in the smart tool down at the bottom when regions cross. And so they're always linked, but you can unlink them so that you can change one without the other. So let's explore equal power and equal gain here. Equal power crossfades usually work best when you're crossfading between different types of audio, like maybe from a sound effect to dialogue or from dialogue to a music track, different types of things. Equal gain crossfades usually work best when you're crossfading between similar types of musical material, like Inside of a guitar part, you're crossfading from one guitar take to another guitar take. So similar types of things. And then if you choose none, you can draw your own shape. So blue is out and red is in. And when they're linked, you can change them both at the same time. Now, if you've experimented and you've set them all goofy, if you just click Option, you can reset them back to the default setting. Okay, let's say we're done here and done there. And let me undo my edit here. And I'm back to there. So if I just select some audio here at the end, and I do Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC, I can write in a fade. And it'll give me the shape of fade that I like. I can alter it here, but I can just say OK, and then in comes a fade. Now, this is the same type of thing you'd get when you do your smart tool, except this time you get a dialog box and you can actually shape the fade as you're writing it. Now, once the fade is written, I can do things with it. I can make it a little bit longer. Remember that this is kind of an overlay on top of the audio so that I can change this a second after I write it or a minute or a week. So it's always there, always able to be changed. If I double click it, I can edit the fade later on. If I decide I don't like the fade, I can always delete the fade, just hitting the delete key there, to make the fade go away, but not changing the underlying audio. Now there's another way to do this operation. At the bottom of the edit menu, way down here at the bottom, is fades. And I can just fade to end right from where I am. So if I do that, I get a linear fade from the edit point, from where my cursor is, to the end of the track. Now let me show you one more thing before we give up on fades here. I'm going to bring this track over and show you that if I select all the tracks in my session, let's pretend there's 20 of them, even though there's only two, then I can go to Edit and Fade. And now it's not letting me fade to end here because there's already a fade on here. So let me get rid of that fade and then select some audio here. And I'm selecting all my tracks, even though there's only two. 
And let me create a fade from there to the end. And now everything in my session will fade at the same point. Now there's a kind of a handier way, a trickier way to do this by fading the master fader and writing in automation on that. We'll take a look at that when we get to automation. So that's a bit about the options and settings for crossfades and fades in Pro Tools 10.